This weather report proudly brought to you by the King Summer Sale. Why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Hurry, final days. It's breaking news. Firefighters are in a race against time. That was terrifying. When it happens, when it matters, you will know with 7 News. Tonight's 7 News headlines, another interest rate rise is almost certain when the Reserve Bank meets next month after higher than expected inflation figures. An annual jump of 7.8%, the highest in more than 30 years. Sydney is set for another electrical storm tomorrow after a predicted Australia Day scorcher. The city still cleaning up from last night's wild weather. There are new calls for compulsory identity checks on dating apps to make them safer for women. That after the global heads of Tinder and Bumble met state and federal politicians today. And this year's Australian of the Year is set to be announced soon. Now, here's Amber with Sydney's weather. Thank you, Angela. Well, that storm warning remains in place across the far northeast corner tonight as Sydney braces for more unsettled conditions late tomorrow with another warm and humid day on the way. It reached a top of 28 degrees in the city this afternoon. Right now it is 25, although in these muggy conditions, it's often felt a touch warmer throughout the day. The satellite image shows a weak ridge of high pressure lying over the Tasman Sea while a trough lingers over western inland New South Wales with humid and unsettled settled weather likely to persist to the east of this trough for the remainder of the week. A cool change should briefly impact southern parts late tomorrow and into Friday with another more significant change likely early next week. Nationwide tomorrow though plenty of sunshine and tops of 33 degrees expected in Brisbane on the way to 32 degrees in Canberra. Melbourne partly cloudy and 22 Hobart tops of 20 degrees tomorrow. 28 the top with cloud clearing in Adelaide while Perth is on the way to a warm 32 Two degrees. Statewide, very hot temperatures are forecast across the far west tomorrow, reaching 40 degrees across parts of the state's north, hovering in the mid to late 30s for most other parts of New South Wales. Combined with the moderate northeasterly to northwesterly winds, extreme fire danger is forecast over the lower central western plains tomorrow. A total fire ban has been declared for that region. It'll be cooler along southern parts of the coast tomorrow, though. 27 is the forecast top at Batemans Bay. Most of Sydney, though, should see temperatures reach around 30 degrees, 33 to 35 degrees is expected across much of the west with 27 the forecast top tomorrow along most of the beaches. On the water tomorrow, winds should run north to northeasterly at around 15 knots, reaching up to 20 knots offshore during the evening. But back in the city, tops of 31 degrees tomorrow under partly cloudy skies. We could see some fog early with the chance of a shower and thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening. Those showers are looking more likely, though, across the western suburbs. On the way to 35 degrees there tomorrow, so likely another muggy afternoon on the way. Beyond that, it looks like those settled conditions are set to linger over the next seven days. The city shouldn't see too much of it until Sunday when showers start increasing again. Then they look to settle in right through the rest of next week. You can see temperature, temperatures though starting to cool from Monday onwards. So Michael and Angela, another typical summer's day on the way tomorrow. Yeah. Make the most of that. Yeah. <laughs> storms out west though, OK. Thanks for that. That is 7 News for this Wednesday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. Sunrise starts from 5.30 tomorrow. From all of the 7 News team, thanks so much for your company. Have a great night. Good night. Stream 7 News anywhere, anytime. Live and on demand on 7 Plus. And with 7news.com.au, you'll know the